giving feedback on um, level design and puzzle design. And uh, this is uh, Harris Wheel version 1.0. Welcome to the Harris Wheel. It looks like a. Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> Personally, what I would do here, if you want players to go up here, is use an angled slope. And, um, yeah, it's just much easier to walk on them uh, instead of jumping um, up all the time. I have no idea yet what to do. It's a blind playthrough. Didn't say that at first. Um, aha! Bravo! You found the trophy. Hooray! That's good. Um, is this a swimming pool? It sure as hell looks like. Can I actually swim this? I'm gonna quick save. I don't want to drown. I can I can swim. Awesome. Ah. Uh, <laughs> ah, I want in! I want in! <laughs> oh, awesome. Really, really nicely done. Okay, I had enough of this one. Ah, I'm getting dizzy! Uh, personally, I wouldn't use um, these brushes. They look a bit weird, in my opinion. Can the Ferris wheel? Oh, yes I can. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yes. <laughs> it's very unique, uh, to say the least. It looks cool. It's. I would use uh, some sort of 3D skybox rather than the blackness we use right now. Um, that would make it uh, look a bit more realistic, and um, uh, there's a big monitor there as well. Okay, cool. Okay, I've been done here. Ugh. Wow, a lift for diving thing. That's ridiculous. <laughs> There are a bunch of balls, and I fear not to need any of them. I can't shoot goals in the water, that's my thing. Ah, it's a playground map, it's... I... Yeah, this is about everything there's to be done here, I suppose. Um, I like, um, when you just no clip around, I like what you did here. Um, it's really funny and unique. Uh, I'm not a big fan of playground maps in general, but this one is really nicely done. Um, yeah, it, the test itself is extremely easy, but um, yeah, that's what you can expect. Um, Optimization wise, these are the Bisleys. Um, um, each of these squares in the black, uh, in the blue line, sorry, um, represent a Bisley. And um, there are a lot of Bisleys visible. Um, generally, brushes that don't block line of sight. For example, uh, these things here, they don't really block line of sight with anything. Um, it's best to make them fun details. And for example, over here, um, you see a hell of a lot of these diagonal small ones. If you make all these um, fun details, you don't create this leaves, and um, it will speed up the compile time tremendously. Same here with um, these things here. They are they don't block any line of sight, so you can might you might as well make them. Um, Funk details. This also doesn't really hide anything, so funk detail. Those pillars here can be funk details, and um, 
yeah, there are quite a few things here that could be fun details. And that would tremendously speed up the compile time. And that's good. Um, I see here that um, this is based on the PTI instance, the observation room. Uh, it's a really inefficient instance. It creates a lot of misleads, but it's required in the PTI to do it this way. So I would recommend uh, just rebuild these walls from scratch and uh, get rid of uh, the small box around it. That would also speed up the compile time. And yeah, that's about. And and over here, um, you see all these stairs. They all make different uh, vistas. And you already made this a nice slope. And I would recommend making um, each of these stairs a fun detail as well. That would also speed up the compile. And um, speeding up the compile is always good. And not only does it speed up the compile, it will also increase game performance. I don't have any issues with them. But on low end machines, it might be a problem. So um, yeah, that's about my feedback. It's a um, really cool concept, and um, and also looks interesting. Um, yeah, good job. Liked it.